One question for you. This is a conversion camp, you know, but you look so good in every movie. I think it would make me gayer if I went to the camp. <laughs> That's really a great question. What's your secret to looking so good? I don't know. It's more of a statement at you. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I'd love to say that it was clean living, but that would be an outright lie. <laughs> You're looking very dapper. Thank you very much. Did you dress yourself? I did. I dressed myself. I, I had a little bit of help. People gave me some input. Um, but yeah, I did it, did it all by damn self. I don't believe that, Boone, but that's fine. You look fantastic. What was important to you about telling the story? Well, I mean, I myself have always made it my one of my missions as an actor and a director and a producer to um, to be a part of, to create, to foster um, LGBTQIA plus uh, stories so that those uh, become just as mainstream as anything else about the human condition. And this fit that bill. I love it. When I started to see all of the re uh, reflections of horror movies past and horror movies that sometimes had victimized queer and trans people, right? Um, when I saw the way that John flipped them, I was like, oh, I'm here for this. God, if someone was trying to kill you at a camp, oh my God. would you get on a kayak? What would be your motive? Listen, I would just be, like, I wouldn't, I would not get into that camp, <laughs> uh, but I, I, you know. He's like, I'd read the Yelp reviews before, <laughs> yeah. before I get there. No, I know in a very serious way. I mean, I, I, LGBTQ youth generally don't have the, the choice, right? But um, in a fictional camp where people, where someone was just trying to kill me, yeah, I'd just be gone so fast. I don't. I would just evaporate. I think would actually is what would happen. Kim is a young woman from a conservative family. Um, she's one of the few campers who's come to Whistler Camp because she really believes that conversion therapy can work for her. It's something that a lot of these camps do. They prey on people who are feeling hopeless, who are feeling lost, who want any option. Um, but then she, you know, comes to find out the truth, which is that conversion therapy doesn't work. I will say that it was a really painful shoot in that way as an actor. There there's, um, you know, I, there's just a lot of being closeted, I think, is a pain that is not like any other pain in the world. So there was a lot of like diving in and watching stuff about conversion therapy, watching Blumhouse's Pray Away. You know, it's just it, it was it was really painful in that way. But I, I think it also speaks to the cast. This cast is all queer. We were all pulling from ourselves for this film. Conversion camp part. Yeah. This is a reality for so many people. Yeah. You know, what do you hope they take away from the film? Well, I mean, it's. I, I think I would have different takeaways for LGBT kids and for the parents of these kids, right? I would hope that for the kids, they're seeing that we are here today, we're queer, we're out, we're successful, we're happy, um, and that that's a future they can have as well. And then I think for anyone who's considering conversion therapy for a loved one or for themselves, I think that they need to understand that it's much more dangerous to try to change someone than it is to let them be who they are. And I heard that you really relate to that character about you, Stu, that you also had those feelings growing up, you tried to repress it. Yes, I did. I, I really didn't want to be gay when I was in high school, and uh, um, it, it took me to going to acting school and to really figure out how to be in other people to um, be myself, ultimately. Um, and so it was kind of cathartic and, and a little triggering at times to go back to that space, but um, ultimately beautiful and healing, and I'm feel so lucky and special to be a part of this. I really, t I don't want to be gay either. I was like, that's a lot of choreography. That's a lot of dance moves. That I don't know if I have the time to learn. <laughs> if a killer was coming after you in a camp, how long do you think you'd survive? I would be the last one standing. Really? 1,000%. Over Monique? Monique is, yeah, a, is a black Yeah, because Monique, be, it would be Mon me and Monique. It would be me and Monique. Monique would kind of maybe take the reins and I would kind of be following her, but yeah, it'd be me and Monique, I think. What do you think the audience is gonna get from this movie? Um, I hope they feel empowered. I hope they can see a little bit of themselves in it. Uh, I hope they get some scares, but I mainly feel hope that they come away with it with, um, with more love in their heart and uh, understanding. I was a really weird kid and I was bullied. So, I had a lot to pull on, a lot of childhood trauma to pull on, a lot of mean, you know? And especially, I think, being queer as well. You know, there's a lot of terrible people that do are awful to you, and I think... Mike Pence. <sighs> all of them. <sighs> I think I filled the chair ably, and it was fun. And you have three Oscar nominations. You have a Tony Award. Does it ever get easier? Does the pressure ever come off for... <laughs> no, never, never. Because you're, you know, every time you face the blinking cursor, you're challenging yourself afresh every single time. There's no sense of, like, well, I did Skyfall, I can take it easy. No, because you always want to do the stories justice. I was starving in a different way. Um, now, I got to ask, you know, if there was an actual killer after you, 
How long do you think you would last? Like about three seconds. Really? <laughs> yeah, about three, literally about three seconds. I have no, like, that's just not my vibe. What are your tactics? Uh, I think my tactics is run, scream, power. I don't think I'll ever have another opportunity. I mean, hopefully I'll have yeah, another opportunity really like that, but up until this point, I haven't. <laughs> and you know, when you're wor working with an all queer cast, <laughs> you don't have to worry about being judged about your queerness. You can just be yourself and be confident that you're just going to be seen for who you are. And you know, we've become a family from this experience and I'm just so excited to, you know, celebrate with all of them tonight. If you were like in a camp and there was a murderer there, what tactics would you use to survive? To survive? Oh, I'm a black belt. I come with my thumb. Oh, period. Yeah. Do you know you're the only person on this cast that has said that so far? So right. If something happens, they're all screwed. You ask them, they know. You're so exciting. Oh. <laughs> I live for you. <laughs>